Hi everybody, it's Linda. Today I'm showing you a few things I picked up today. Um, most of it was from Dollar Tree. Okay, Dollar Tree. I found, I got excited, I thought I found more trivia cards. These are actually playing cards. Harry Potter. <laughs> kind of disappointed when I realized what they were, but yeah, I'll just go extra playing card stash, I guess, and friends. That That was on me, the friends one. Oh, see, it says it at the side. And Harry Potter does say it at the front. So that one was on me. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Um, they're only $1.50 each, right? Um, sorry. Uh, index cards. Uh, three by five, you know, blank on one side, lines on the other. So you get two twenty five dollars in that one. And I bought two of the four by six for $1.25. Now, I've been making some notebooks because this... Um, I saw this video of this woman making them and I just was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So, um, I don't, do I have, oh, here's one. Okay. I think I showed you these. Remember these? And, and there's my, my notes, right? So, um, this is what I wanted them for, for some more of these. Well, last weekend, I'm not, they're not done, but I made, I made two, the same size mini junk journals and I used extra paper the extra paper as the writing paper. When they're done, I'll, I'll give you a little tour of them. I'll show you what they look like. But so I, they can still be bulked up. There's still room. So yeah, I just made two little junk journals. And anyway, that's what I wanted the four by six for. Because if you slice it in half, then it, those pages make nice um, pages and something like this. So that's what the, the index cards are for. And I picked up more uh, fat quarters. Look at this. I don't think I have this one. Isn't it adorable? A, a bee theme. You can even like cut some of these like squares out, right? So I got two of these. I'm going to be refolding them into my, how I fold my fat quarters and then storing them with all the other fat quarters. Um, and here's sunflowers lemons Ta -da. isn't that cute i don't think i ever saw one like this this lemon one before this is another cute bee one this is like um i guess we'll go this way like peach and purple flowers with um bees isn't that cute so i got one of those um a purple clam or clam shell i believe is the pattern I believe this is a repeat, black and white check. And this one is um, just like, I guess, the face of the sun. I got two of those. White with white with gold. Um, they had a lot. My Dollar Tree had a lot of flannel. Um, and not just, like, cotton. So I wasn't buying any of that. A lot of it was really cute. And I just thought, I don't want flannel. So... They didn't really have anything new, and I've had a very hard time finding any seasonal, like, a, oops, something fell again in a second, like Christmas or Valentine's or Easter. Like, I haven't seen any fabric like that, if they'll even, my store never seems to get it, or it goes really fast. All right, sorry. I also found a Dollar Tree. I guess this is like a yarn ball keeper. So, just store your your ball of yarn in here and then you can feed it through and you don't have to have worry about it rolling all over the place like unraveling so, so cute they had a ton of these very cute and i couldn't resist so there's a round one and a long one not sure what i'll do with these and i might have already shown this i bought this before like i mean i bought this one from before but i thought i'd keep them all together um in the video so and this one so I thought those were so cute. And a telescope, telescopic, telescopic, <laughs> can't speak, straw. So this one you can throw in your purse. Uh, reusable, portable, on the go size, cleaning brush included. So for two bucks. I just thought, oh, why not? Um, that was Dollarama. And the other thing I found at Dollarama, I found at least five new pads of paper. I only bought four. Um, there might have been a sixth one, but 
uh, I wasn't interested. These are only 30 sheets. They're just under six by six. And um, this is 5.9 inches. So these were $1.25 each. You get 30 sheets. And this one is called Botanicals. So, oh, I know I don't really need more paper. God knows I have a ton, but I, I did kind of like the looks of these ones. So, yeah, so that's Botanicals. I guess you get uh, um, three of each. That's what it looks like. So there's that one. Floral Feelings. Of course, a sample of each is on the front of the pad. And the one I didn't buy was marble-y. I didn't really care for it. It wasn't really, like, for me. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Um, inspirations. This is like a blue. Blue and uh, some wood there. Yeah. And Vintage Gardens. This one looked the most interesting. Because it's botanical and claims to be vintage. So, yeah. So I got those. So like I said, at least five, possibly more um, pat uh, designs. And the last thing I got... I found this at Canadian Tire because, of course, Walmart didn't have it for $15, an over-the-door 20-pocket organizer. Um, I saw a video where a woman had, she was organizing her punches, and she hung this up, and she put all her large punches in here, and I thought, now, in my current craft room, I don't have anywhere where I could put something like this, but the one of the bedrooms, where I which was originally my craft room, I still have craft stuff in there. Like my big design wall for my quilting blocks is up there. And I have, that's where I keep my fat quarters. Um, anyway, it has a door. So on the back of that, I'm going to hang this and put my punches there. I'd rather, you know, have to get up and go over into that room and pick out and grab the punch I need than to come like, like not make an effort behind me where it's all jammed up. All the stuff is stacked and crammed in there. And, oh, I can't be bothered to pull that box out because I got to pull out other stuff to get to it. So I figure let's clean up some space here. And also I'll make like a little um, set of cards that have samples of all the different punches and what they do. And then that way I can know ahead of time which punch I want because I can because I'll just punch it on plain cardstock and I'll keep them like a... Um, all to all together on a binder ring and then I can flip through them and I could even like hold up a card and see if that hole that shape is what I want for whatever whatever paper I have so you know something like that I don't know if I explained that well but that's all I'm gonna say anyway so so that's what I picked up today and I gotta get to some folding and some hanging and I'll talk to you guys later have a great weekend everybody bye